Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Fine. Fine. Con frío. <laughs> Con frío, sí, ha hecho un poco de frío ahora. Pero es bueno, casi no experimentamos eso. Yo prefiero que haga frío y no calor. Sí. En, lo malo es que mucho tomo café, tomo más de lo normal. <risa> ok, so... Da más um, hambre, sí. Sí, da más hambre también, da como ansiedad. Ok, ahí sí da... Ya están conectándose los demás. Ok, there you are. Good evening, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carla, how are you today? I'm fine. Fine, perfect. And the rest of you, ¿cómo están los demás? Fine. Okay, that's nice. Um, so, do you have any um, any question before we start? Han estado revisando la plataforma. Creo que sí, van bien, verdad? Okay, so I see that you have been working on it, and that's okay. That's fine. Do you have any question about any content of the platform? Alguna pregunta acerca del contenido? No, no questions. Okay, so we're going to, um, I'm going to share the presentation so you can, okay. Well, um, yesterday, this is what we did. Can you, can you see my screen? Okay, so I'm sharing the screen and um, well, I'm sharing specifically the grammar focus. Uh, yesterday we discussed a little bit about it. No se hicieron ejercicios. Dijimos que vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios utilizando some y any en oraciones. Did you do that? Lo hicieron? No. <laughs> Okay, I know that sometimes it's difficult because you have to work and there is no time. Okay, um, let's make a quick review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Ayer decíamos que um, acerca del uso de some, any, contables e incontables. Okay. Decíamos que los nombres contables son esos que podemos contar, como su nombre lo dice. Estos son fáciles de reconocer porque ellos tienen un plural en inglés. Se pueden pluralizar. Eh, tenemos aquí an egg. The plural is eggs. A sandwich. The plural is sandwiches. La mayoría de plurales se les agrega S y, y, y ya. A la mayoría de nombres se les agrega S y ya se hacen plurales. Hay nombres que no tienen plural en inglés. Son incontables. Eh, por ejemplo, bread, that's the meaning of bread. Bread es pan, ¿verdad? En la palabra pan, bread, en inglés no tiene plural. No existe la palabra bread. No existe, eso no tiene plural. Por lo tanto, se considera incontable. Non-count noun. El noun lettuce, la, el nombre lechuga, también es incontable. No tiene plural en inglés. No podemos decir leruses. No, that is incorrect. Eh, decíamos también que utilizamos, podemos utilizar son y any en pregunta. Aquí en la plataforma la mayoría de, o oh, estamos utilizando nada más para preguntas el any. Eh, pero también se pueden hacer las preguntas con son. Como vieron en la conversación que teníamos ayer que era esta. Aquí estamos usando some en una pregunta. How about some sandwiches? 
Y aquí estamos usando any. Do we have any letters? So basically, podemos usar some y any en pregunta, and there is no difference, no hay ninguna diferencia eh, en el significado. Ok. Um, luego, para hacer oraciones, sí, tenemos esas restricciones. Si es afirmativa, vamos a usar some, y si voy a hacer una negativa, voy a usar any. Ok. Um, esto lo habíamos hablado ayer. So, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Complete the conversation with some and any. So, vamos a estar utilizando some or any depending, right? Depende de lo que veamos. Vemos la conversación y dice, the store doesn't have. Estoy viendo que es negativo. Y es una oración. Entonces, voy a usar any. The store doesn't have any potatoes. Porque dijimos que para oración negativa, any. Oración afirmativa, some. Y en pregunta, vamos a usar any, aunque podamos usar some too. So, les voy a dar un par de minutos para que vayan escribiendo en su cuaderno solo la respuesta. Por ejemplo, aquí es any. Luego, en la que sigue, en el renglón que sigue, ¿qué iría? Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Some. Excellent. Entonces, te va a escribir some. Aquí any, aquí some. Y así se va a ir con el resto de la conversación. Les voy a dar tiempo para que hagan eso. I'm sorry. How are you doing, Finnish?
Did you finish? Yes. No yet. No yet. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Okay, let's check. Uh, we were here, right? Well, I have, well, we have lettuce potatoes. Let's make some. And then we have, okay, do we have? Any mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise? Okay, no. We need to buy? Some. Some. Okay, here is some. We need? What is the answer here? We need some or any? Some. some onions too. Some, yes, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any. Any, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Some celery. No, I don't want. Any celery. Any. Any. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put. Some. Some, apple. some, some apples apple. in it. Mm -hmm. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay, uh, do you have any question about uh, vocabulary? Celery. Celery is the apio. Apio se dice celery. Any other? Onions. Onions? Cebollas. Cebolla. Yeah, cebolla. There any other? Awful, it means like asqueroso. It sounds awful, suena asqueroso. Any other new word? No new words? No, thanks. Okay, no. uh, we're going to to move and see the this is the complete conversation with the answers so we're going to practice pronunciation let's repeat you can repeat there the store doesn't have any potato salad the store doesn't have any potato salad well we have lots of potatoes let's make some well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Okay. Do you? Do we have any mayonnaise? It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Okay. Do, you, do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. No. We need. To buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. 
then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad, that sounds awful. Okay, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to practice this conversation. We're gonna practice pronunciation, so I'm gonna ask you to get in groups. Uh, so first, let's take a screenshot or a picture of the conversation, and then I'm gonna uh, create the section groups. Are you ready with the screenshot? Ready, teacher. Yes. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, remember to click join or unirse. conversación. Sí. Eh, sí se escucha, pero con eh, interferencia. Alguien tiene interferencia. Y ahora se escucha bien. Yo empiezo. Siempre no, se escucha la interferencia. Ahora. Ahora ya no. Bye. 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 Yo soy Amanda, luego sigue. Somos cuatro, ¿verdad? Uno cada uno, si quieren. Vaya. Vaya. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Ah, okay. Do okay. we have any? Mm. No, but sí. es que mejor hagan los dos ligeros y después otro, los otros dos. Vaya, otra vez. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too? Oh, I don't want any onions. I had onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Vaya Carlos, demo. Okay, ¿quién empieza? Vos. Okay. The store doesn't um, have any potato salad. Where we have lots of potatoes, let's make some. Oh, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions, I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad, that's some apple. Okay. Okay. Finish. Entonces, pensamos de nuevo, pero intercambiando los nombres. Ahora yo sería Amanda. That's a good idea, yeah. 
You did a very no, good job. Bueno. Vaya, entonces soy Adam. Empiece. Sí. The store doesn't have any potato salad. No problem. Uh, then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But, but let's put some apple in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Hoy, hoy cambiamos. Okay. Ajá, con la que me tocó a mí. Ahora sería yo, Adam, y usted, Amanda. Ok. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Ok. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy, buy some. We need some onions too. Mm, oh, I don't want any onions. I have onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. The store doesn't have any potato salad? Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Okay, do we need any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I eat onions. They let's get some celery. No, I don't want uh, any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples, apples in, in it. Apples in a potato salad. That song of our food. Y los otros compañeros. Compañero. Right, let's see that everybody's back again. So we're going to continue with the next exercise. Okay, uh, here we have a conversation. You will individually complete the conversation with some or any. Hoy si no les voy a ayudar, solo van a ser solitas, so you have to write some or any in the spaces in blank.
Okay, teacher. Okay. Good idea. Do you have? Bueno, la primera creo que es one. No, it's, it's. Do you have? No. Do we have? It's me. Okay, let's check your answers. Um, the first one, let's start the conversation. Is this, what do, you, uh, what do you want for dinner? Let's make some pasta with tomato sauce. Good idea. What is the answer here? Do we have? Some. Some meat, yeah, that can be a possibility, or any. Si usaron any, está bien. Si usaron some, igual está bien. Okay. Well, we have... Some. What is some? Excellent. Well, we have some beef, but I don't want... Any. Any. Excellent but I don't want any meat in the sauce. Let's get 
Some. Some tomatoes. Some tomatoes and onions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do we need some some green peppers. some green peppers mm -hmm. or any? Si pusieron some or any, that's okay. Uh, yes. Let's get. Um, some, some peppers. Pepper. Yes, let's get some pepper. Oh, and um, some, some, some garlic. garlic too. Some garlic too. Great. We have some spaghetti. Some spaghetti. So we don't need any pasta. Any pasta. Any pasta. Yeah, but let's get some some bread. Some and some cheese. some cheese too some cheese too okay vamos a agregarle ahí el some cheese too salió corta <laughs> okay let's practice pronunciation what do you want for dinner what do you want for dinner let's make some pasta with tomato sauce Let's make, Let's some, make some pasta some with tomato sauce. Good <clears throat> idea. Do we have any meat? Good idea. Good idea. Do, Do we have, have any meat? Well, we have some beef, but I don't want any meat in the sauce. Let's get some tomatoes and onions. Well, well we have, have some beef, beef but we don't want I want any meat, meat in the sauce. In the Let's get let's get some tomatoes and onions. Okay. Okay. Do we need any green peppers for the sauce? Okay. Do we okay, need, do any, we need green green any green peppers? Yes. Let's get some peppers. Oh, and some garlic too. Yes. Let's get some peppers. Oh, and some garlic too. Great. We have some spaghetti, so we don't need any pasta. Great. We have some spaghetti, so we don't need any pasta. Yeah, but let's get some bread and some cheese, too. Yeah, better let's get some bread and cheese. Okay, very good. We have another exercise here. Antes de una consulta, teacher, en el ejercicio anterior, en la que dijo que podía ser some and any, ya me, como que me quedó la duda en la, en la B y en la, no sé si fue que en la otra. En, en las, las dos eran preguntas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En pregunta puede usar either or, puede usar some o puede usar any y está bien. Donde no se puede hacer eso es en oraciones. En oraciones, si la oración es positiva, va a usar some. Si la oración es negativa, va a usar any. En pregunta puede usar cualquiera de los dos. Ah, ok. Thanks. Uh -huh. En la plataforma se está usando más que todo any para las... Um, para las preguntas, pero si usted se fija, aquí tenemos la conversación How about some sandwiches? Estamos utilizando some en la pregunta y aquí tenemos Do we have any letters? Tenemos any en pregunta. Quiere decir en pregunta vamos a usar some o vamos a usar any y está correcto. Okay. Eh, y ya en, en, ya en oraciones, sí, ya no, no podemos hacer eso. Si estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas, some. Some. Negative. Any. Any. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Solo tenemos otro ejercicio para continuar practicando. Van a hacer lo mismo. Ir poniendo some o any. What do you eat for breakfast? Well, first I have fruit.
Okay, finished? Let's yes. check your work. What do you have? What do you eat for breakfast? Well, first, I have fruit. Some bread. Some. 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 Excellent. Some bread or strawberries. That sounds good. Do you have? Some. Some. some or, or any. Some any. or any. That's okay. Some or any. No, I don't eat any. 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 Or meat in the morning. Okay, any. I don't eat any. Aquí sí es any, porque estoy haciendo una negativa. I don't eat any eggs or meat in the morning. Really? Do you have anything else? Well, I usually have some, 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 some bread. Well, but I don't put any, any. any. Do you drink anything in the morning? I always have some, some, some juice and yeah. coffee. I don't put any, any sugar in my coffee, but I like some, some milk in it. Very good. There you have the answer. And uh, we're going to move to the next one. Okay, um, we're going to watch the video. It's what do you have for breakfast and conversation, fish for breakfast. So we're going to discuss the most common breakfast according to the country. And also we're going to practice another conversation. So we're going to move to the platform content. Okay, this one. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly, Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, Fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, that was the, the vocabulary that we're going to practice. And uh, as you could see there, we have uh, different breakfast styles according to the country. For example, in the United States, a uh, normal breakfast includes cereal with milk, fresh fruit, oranges, and coffee. In Japan, a regular breakfast may include fish, rice, soup, 
pickles and green tea. A Mexican regular breakfast may have eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruits, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. Uh, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Alguna palabra que, que quieran saber el significado o la pronunciación? Pickles. Ok, pickles. Uh, pickles son conocidos como pepinillos y también se le llama así a cualquier cosa que vaya como encurtido. Los pepi, como conservado en vinagre, conservados como pepinillos, como curtidos, escabeches, eso se le llama pickles. ¿Es there any other question? ¿Cómo se pronuncia sopa? Perdón. Soup. Soup. Ok. ¿Any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, we're going to practice uh, with this question, what do you have for breakfast? You can see the question here, what do you have for breakfast? Let's see, um, I'm gonna start. Um, Heidi, what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Le voy a poner aquí para que vea, se vaya guiando. Cereal with milk. Cereal with milk. Uh, fresh fruit and coffee. Excellent. Cereal with milk, fresh fruit and coffee. It's very healthy. Nice. Okay, Heidi, ask the same question to another classmate. Pregúntele, what do you have for breakfast? It can be Carla, Aurora, Catherine, Berenice. Mm, quiero ver. Alejandro Recinos. What do you have? What do you have for break, breakfast? Alejandro. Eggs. Okay, Alejandro, what do you have for breakfast? Alejandro? Okay, creo que no, no está bien el audio, solo escuché ex, no sé si soy yo. Okay, okay uh, Alejandro, está por ahí. Okay, let's continue. Um, Carla, what do you have for breakfast, Carla? And your microphone is off. You're mute. <laughs> okay, Carla, what do you Sorry. have for breakfast? That's okay. Um, eggs, bread, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Excellent. Very complete, Carla. Ask the question to another classmate. Um, Katy Medina. Beans. What do, you, what do you have for breakfast, Katy Medina? Beans, egg, coffee with milk. Excellent, Katy. Thank you so much. Ask another classmate. Elisa Márquez, what do you have for breakfast? Um, I, I breakfast cereal with milk. I have cereal with milk for breakfast. I have cereal with milk. I breakfast. For breakfast. For breakfast. 
Excellent, Elisa. Can you ask the question to another classmate, Elisa? What do you have for breakfast? Pregúntale a alguien más. Uh, Ana Rodríguez. Ya le preguntaron, no. Uh, what do you have for, have for breakfast? Ana. Ana, ¿está por ahí, Ana? Ok, creo que está solo conectada. So we're going to move. Vamos a moverlos ya a la conversación. Ok, this is the conversation that you saw on the platform. So we're going to practice pronunciation. You can repeat at home. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, uh, do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Okay. What do you mean try? Try. Try. Quiero ver a dónde. Okay, yes, try. try. Yes. Try es probar, probar nuevas cosas. Me gusta, pero me gusta probar nuevas cosas. But I like to try new things. Okay. Any other question? Okay, if you don't have more questions, we're going to practice in groups. So take a picture or a screenshot of the conversation. Then we're going to move to the group practice. Okay, I will create the sections one more time. Five, six, then four. Okay, there you have the message. So click join or unirse and you will practice this conversation in group. The store doesn't, no, no, no es esta. <laughs> es la siguiente. <laughs> Ahí está. No la había copiado. Vaya. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a, a Japanese style breakfast of, on Sundays. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. And soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes 
we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Vaya, ahora. Elisa. Elisa. Ok, ¿con quién? Con usted, Katy. Y después Vaya. yo, para que. Vaya. ¿Quién inicia? Inicio yo. Usted. Sí. Ok. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Ok. Come to my house. My family always have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Hoy, Carlos es Sara y... Y usted es Kumi. Kumi. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I'd like to write new things. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Um, sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Hola, Sara. Well, well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to bring you this. Try new things. Okay. Practicamos otra vez. Yes. Sarah, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Okay, I'm missing a couple of people. Elisa no se ha unido todavía. Okay, so, well, we finished practicing and uh, well, basically that's it for today and tomorrow. As you can see in the conversation and we started on the video, 
En la conversación se están usando adverbios de frecuencia. Y los adverbios de frecuencia sirven para saber con qué tan seguido eh, sucede algo o qué tan seguido usted hace algo. Adverbios como, por ejemplo, always. Esto es un adverbio de frecuencia que significa siempre. My family always has a Japanese star breakfast. Another is usually. We usually have fish. Usualmente eh, comemos pescado. Um, sometimes es algunas veces. Y um, bueno, aquí se repite always y tenemos never, que significa nunca. So, en esta conversación se están usando los adverbios de frecuencia. Mañana vamos a estudiar qué significa cada uno de ellos y en qué lugar de la oración tenemos que ponerlos. That's for tomorrow. Eso nos va quedando para mañana. So, um, thank you for being in class today. Uh, that's it. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que nos vayamos. ¿Algún comentario? Or no? No, teacher. No. Okay. Uh, so, thank you for joining the class today and sleep well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.